welcome viewers to Soft Academy, a project control and engineering software academy. Our today's content is based on an error. We are just going through Primavera P6 errors. If you receive any error in your system, you can also contact with us and to our helpline that is also available. Uh, that helpline is our basically services that has been provided to every uh, planner who is working in the field, not for the students, like students which are like not beginners so they can contact us through our uh, you know website this is our website like you know you can type here softdemy.com so any error appear on your uh, primavera p6 you can contact us we will make a solution through our email address you can uh, contact us through our email address from more you can go into contact us you can find email address there and also email address have been given in the description of this video also and you can contact us through WhatsApp, then you connect with the browser, your WhatsApp and also the WhatsApp number have been given in the below footer of this uh, website, this one website and also uh, in the description of this video, uh, WhatsApp number have been given. Also that site have been, uh, uh, you know, a lot of courses have been attached in it and a lot of tools like so, uh, shops and tools which are helpful for the planners to their work, to smooth their work and uh, to just uh, speed the work so also a xr file which are template files different type of projects have been uh, loaded here more than like uh, uh, you can say more than 100 projects have been listed there so you can go and you can get from the site our uh, basically our today's content purpose is to mention you an error which have been uh, you know you can al always see when whenever you open primavera p6 a new primavera p6 has been installed this error can be appeared at that one but it can be appeared whenever you just remove something you are from your PC. I will explain you what you remove from your PC and when you uh, receive this one error there. So the error name is unable to connect to the database. Please run the database configuration tool or contact your administrator. So this type of error you will receive. I will repeat again, unable to connect to the database. So first line describes that there is database issue. Okay, please run the database configuration tool or contact your administrator. So we need to understand uh, what is the meaning of please run the database configuration tool. So database configuration tool is also installed when you uh, just install Primavera P6. There is one configuration tool. When I search here configuration tool, so you will find also from here configuration you will just type here configuration so you will see i will just go for 22 version so this is database configuration if you want to run you can also run from here okay so i will also uh, just first of all we'll go through the error and then we'll, we'll explain uh, where this error appears then we'll go through this one first uh, of all i open my primary p6 that is 22 version Currently, I'm doing 22 version because I, I just want to show you an error in that one because other database have been loaded. So, for example, you come up and you just go here and uh, you just type admin, admin password, whatever you think uh, after watching any download video from YouTube and you understand it how to download Primavera P6. So, you understand you ju just uh, install Primavera P6 and then you go for the uh, you can say as a, uh, you can go for the data uh, run Primavera P6 and when you enter your password and username, then you enter connect, then you receive this error. So you don't know what the error is because you haven't configured your database yet. That's the reason. So when you are beginner, when, when you are very beginner stage, so you will receive this error. You don't know what is the database configuration at, at that stage. So after you known that one database configuration, what is database configuration, then you can configure. So what, what does mean of contact your administrator? So contact your administrator is that one. So Primavera P6 standalone version, there is Primavera P6 standalone version and other versions. I will also explain you that I had a video. What does an administrator means? So let's, let's go to there two ways to open that at the database configuration. One is the, this stage. So what is the database configuration? So in there database written name is written and this is database name and this is the database language. Then you can see here edit database configuration. That's the basic uh, area where you can configure your database. Also you can configure your database from here also. Database configuration, this one. When you click this one, you will open a window like this one. Okay, so you will open like a window like this one. Also when you click this one, 
this one edit uh, database of configuration also you can open the same window okay so what this uh, database issue what is the issue of this database because the database i already from uh, being myself i have just uh, you can say here uh, i have configured a wrong database why i want to show you guys that what is the issue but when you install i think so when you install uh, 22.12 version this field will be empty like this field will be uh, empty you cannot write anything from my perspective you cannot write any uh, username and password right there until you configure a database okay so database configuration error can be appeared if your file which uh, which should be located i will also show you which where should be located like for example i just go here and i say that i have an already existing database i was working and i lose my file okay so the question is how to find out the file so the configuration driver type should be a standalone because we are not working on a server i i just before uh, some time of 5 minutes i explain you that what is the meaning of administrator but administrator meaning is that that there are like three four type of you, you know uh, driver type driver type means where your data is saved because primary p6 is based on database so there are different type of databases like sqlite stand alone means that the file backup will be saved in your system and what is primary p6 professional cloud connect so it means there is a cloud server you will buy from primary p6 and you will connect with that one there is also a microsoft sql server that is also work as online based on a server also you can connect with your uh, p6 with that one so all your all the data will be saved there and also that server is slow and more than one people and more than many people will be working on that uh, all cloud and other servers and also oracle basic uh, you know uh, other uh, drivers are available so you can work on that and these all three are online this one is only stand alone so stand alone is server in which i will select why i select stand alone because the file have been saved in my system so mostly the used primavera p6 a database is stand alone the people uh, the people who use uh, primavera p6 mostly and the less errors are received there but many many also use the cloud versions and also microsoft sql server also so all are online online means that your data will base uh, database will be not lost and whenever uh, there is no internet available you cannot run your primavera p6 there will be error away. there are a lot of companies they are providing this one Uh, microsoft sql server also uh, my primavera p6 cloud is also provided by primavera p6 cloud they are providing per user so this is uh, another debate we'll discuss on later on so add a uh, add a connection to an existing dat uh, stand alone database it means the database is in my system now i will just go for next and i will select the location here we have to select the location basically from where we lost the file we have to find out the file okay so why i i click this one because i want i know that my database is there i was working previously this is the one who is already using primavera p6 not for new user i will also tell for new user go for next and i will select here next and file select here my my database name is because this is a primavera p6 database default name wherever you will find out dot dbr wherever you will found out the file name in the database so whenever you will find uh, the file type should be with the name of database or the db written with the that one or sql lite written anywhere if you don't know so you will select this one and open this one also uh, the file type will be sql uh, database select this one file open now save this one file okay whenever now you will enter your password and whatever so uh, one more thing this one is 22 version this version is 22 version so i have just uh, you know uh, you can say as a that database is from 23 version so that one will be not you know you cannot you not you cannot use here okay let's let's go here admin password and uh, let's go here let's check i i don't, don't think so it will run here let's connect maybe it's connecting or not okay so it's saying that expect database version is 22 so but founded database version at 23 so it will not run okay do you want to upgrade so i will say yes 
it say failed because from latest version to previous version you cannot update okay so i already know that this database is from 23 version that's why i already know that this will be not run so what i will do so in that case first solution is to just go for 23 version and just configure database in 23 version where is 23 version 23 version i have already installed i am using currently that one this was an example now if you are a new user i will tell you if you are a new user and now you will go here add a new standalone database next here and here you will assign a password you are new database in this case you are new user so the user login name is admin here you can assign any password any anything okay it's your choice next you will assign here the name okay the name should be changed here if you are a new user or if you are creating a new database so the name should be changed if you override the existing so what does happen your previous database will be completely flushed okay i will say it's one two three uh, sql sql uh, you can say sql light okay to, to remember that this is SQLite, okay, whatever you will want to uh, give it a name. So I will give here save, and now when I will I will go here admin and uh, admin password, username and password same, and will connect it will open. I know it will be open because it's now 22.12 uh, version database. Be previous one which was I loading uh, in uh, uh, there will be an error appear always like this one error you will see whenever it's don't worry about this error because you have configured a new database so primary p6 ask you that you have configured uh, a new database and you haven't identified the industry right so from where you will identify the uh, industry you will go here in the admin and, and admin preferences so you will find out industry from here and you will select this one this error will not appear whenever you will open again so the question is that one why the previous file haven't uh, uh, you know the error was appeared why that database is not run which we are, we are using what i will do i will go in the primavera p6 which is latest 23.12 this one version 23.12 and i will go in the edit database configuration there is a lot of database configuration which i have already been done so this one is uh, like go here and uh, i will just add here a new database let's go here in the standalone and i will add here add an existing database so i will go here i will write here soft demi testing okay soft demi testing okay we'll write here testing and now how to configure the existing database this one is an existing database this one location which we were selected uh, to open save this one now when we open this one soft demi testing admin okay when i will open this file will be open i know because this is the latest version it matches with the version and the database so this is my content that i have uh, just uh, gone through the error uh, which uh, which is always appear when you install a new project and when you lost the project okay so the question is also that that what happened if you lost this project so there is possibility until you just you don't close the file i will show you that whenever you uh, open a, a database in your system like here in the documents always uh, documents are wherever the location it is uh, let's go here okay this is the file i've been opened okay I, as i told you all, all of my projects are there you can see here all of my projects are shown here right so in this one folder you can see here all all of all our project which i have been working so i have been opened as my previous projects so it's in 23.12 version okay let's close the file once uh, and exist okay so what happened whenever you, you your question may be that if i lost a file if you delete this one file one method is you can use an recovery software okay recovery software can bring this database back but if you have just refresh your window maybe some software will, can be used for database but i recommend to make them always on the you know safer side to just copy and save this one after two three months this database and you can use that one so my recommendation is that one so thanks for watching my video if you have any other question and you, you are receiving any other error in your system you can contact us and uh, we will help you out and also write a comments write, can email 
whatsapp see you in the next content thanks for watching my video